Hey everybody, my name is Mackenzie Solden and I'm the marketing manager at Angel City Sports. I also happen to be a two sport Paralympian. I played wheelchair tennis at the 2012 London Paralympic Games and won a gold medal in wheelchair basketball at the 2016 Rio Paralympic Games. My disability journey started when I was young. Um, I was injured at a young age and really enjoyed sports and being athletic. So I grew up playing wheelchair basketball and wheelchair tennis and ultimately played both sports in college at the University of Alabama. Roll Tide. <laughs> Um, at Angel City Sports, we serve 15% of the U.S. population that has a physical disability. That means there are 50 million people in the U.S. that could benefit from the work that we do at Angel City. But the thing that breaks my heart is that most of these people have no idea sports exist for them. They don't know about adaptive or Paralympic sports. And they most likely don't know about our organization either, which provides free sports training, equipment, and competitive opportunities. We know and I know from personal experience that sports is transformative for our athletes and it changes lives. It provides community and creates a sense of belonging, uh, leading to improvements in self-acceptance and self-confidence. Uh, we just need to get more awareness around this. Um, for us to continue doing the work that we do, and to continue changing lives, we do need better awareness. We need advocates to help us find more athletes. We need people with and without disabilities to understand what these sports are and to encourage everyone they know to learn more. So I hope you will join the Angel City community, follow us on social media, and sign up for emails on our website, angelcitysports.org. Thanks everybody. Hi, my name is Bahar Sumak, and I'm one of the co-founders of Angel City Sports. Angel City Sports provides year-round free sports programming for children, veterans, and adults with physical disabilities. And that includes everything from wheelchair tennis, wheelchair basketball, swimming, kayaking, surfing, snorkeling, you name it. We provide programming and opportunities for people to play, be active, and the reason this all started for me and my husband was 16 years ago was the birth of our son, Ezra. Ezra was born limb deficient. He was born missing limbs. And we couldn't imagine what was life going to be like for our son. Would he run? Would he play? Would he, can he play sports? How is, how is this going to all work? And Ironically, sports was everything to him. Playing basketball, being out there with his friends, it was all about sports. He said ball before he even said mom. Um, but then that's when we saw the power of sports. What it did for him emotionally, but the camaraderie, the physical stimulation, the joy, the play. And that's when we realized everybody should have those opportunities and not be restricted because they have a physical disability. And I think the power of sports is beautifully captured in a quote from Nelson Mandela. Mandela says, sports has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. It speaks to the youth in a language they understand. Sports can create hope when there was only despair. And there it is, that's the power of sports. We know what it does for you physically, but also emotionally, psychologically, it fuels your soul. And if someone was born with a physical disability or acquired it, which we see through car accidents, cancer, diabetes, disease, whatever that might be, we're talking about almost 15 to 20% of the U.S. population. And they're told that sports can never be for them. And that's absolutely not true. And that's why we do what we do. We bring adaptive equipment so that people can play sports and be active and compete. And that's what Angel City is about. But we need you. We need your help. Because that's what we do. We're constantly out 
you know, finding people, anybody, anyone that you know in your community that has any kind of physical disability, which includes limb differences, cerebral palsy, visual impairment, or spinal cord injury, bring them, let them know about the opportunities of Angel City Sports. An example was I chased down a little girl and her mom in a supermarket named Viva, and her mom didn't believe sports would ever be able to be for her daughter. And I begged them to come to our inaugural games of Angel City Sports. And now Viva is competing in high school. What it's done for her has been remarkable, and she also competes in national events. That's the power of sports. So please, Find us at angelcitysports.org. Join us on our journey as we help thousands of people, not only in this country, but thousands and thousands all over the world that come to our games, come to our events. And if you're curious about how Ezra's doing, he's on his way to hopefully representing Team USA in Tokyo as the youngest athlete representing USA. Sports has meant the world to him. And we are happy to provide that same opportunity for others. Thank you so much.